First, I want to give you all a shared experience that I want to discuss with you. So just stare at the white cross. Don't let your eyes move. Just stare at the white cross. A few more seconds. Don't let your eyes move. And that should be long enough. Do you see it? Yes, I apologize for the uh, symbolism, but I didn't have time to prepare an alternative. So you would probably agree with me that you're having a flag after image. How about this sentence, that the lowest red, short red stripe is intersecting the black cross? Do you agree? Was that how it was for you? OK. All right. So now here's what I want to know. What are you talking about? You're talking about a red stripe. Something real or something that seems to be real. Something red. Where is it? Where was it? It wasn't on the screen. It wasn't on your retina. And there was lots going on in your brain, but none of it was a red stripe. No, it wasn't in the brain. It wasn't on the screen. It wasn't in your eye. Now, Leibniz's very simple and uncontroversial law of identity says that if A is identical with B, then whatever is true about A is true about B, and vice versa. Very simple principle. But it makes a difference here, because it means that if A is a red stripe, and nothing in the brain is a red stripe, then nothing in the brain is identical to that red stripe, which, if it's real, has to be something else. And that leads to dualism. If there is no physical red stripe anywhere, then there must be a non-physical red stripe somewhere. This is, I think, the simplest argument for dualism, and in some ways, the best. Because it brings out the challenge to materialism. I, as a materialist, have to face this challenge. I have to say this. You are experiencing a red stripe, but there is no red stripe that you are experiencing. You are experiencing a red stripe, but there does not exist a red stripe that you are experiencing. I have to make sense of that if I want to be a materialist. It only seems to you that you are experiencing a red stripe. Actually, let me revise that. It only seems to you that there is a red stripe that you are experiencing. You are experiencing a red stripe, but it seems to you that there is a red stripe that you're experiencing, and that has got to be false. Now, it looks as if we can talk about that red stripe. That red stripe. We can talk about which red stripe. So it seems to behave quite like, an, like a real thing. And of course, we can think about it. We can direct our attention to it, to it. What I'm doing here is trying to enliven the sense that the tug of dualism is very strong. It's very tempting to think that since we can talk about that stripe and since it isn't a physical red stripe, it must be in some other non-physical realm. And yet here I am saying, no, it doesn't have to exist at all. It seems that it is a thing for us, as good as any other thing, in our experienced world. And yet, it does not exist. That is 
fairly counterintuitive. Materialism is counterintuitive. But then all the great advances in science are counterintuitive and take some getting used to. <laughs>